Welcome YouTube. Today we are playing. Uh, we're playing some Minecraft. We're going to start with, uh, I guess, episode two of uh, of the Rat SSP. Um, so we are going to hop right into that. Um, last time we did, we made our base. Basically, that's about it. We explored a little bit. There's a village near us. There's a pillager outpost near us. I learned a little bit how to. Okay, well, I learned a little bit how to like take out a pillager outpost, but I also like and turn it into a raid farm. But I also learned where are we? There it is. We also learned, or I also learned, how to um just make them stop spawning. Um, so I think we're gonna do that for now. We're gonna make them stop spawning so that we don't have that kind of threat over there. And then um then I think we go mining because I wanted to do that today. I think what we're gonna do. So I was actually in Clickwell stream today. If you guys don't know, he's a pretty good, pretty good creator. And um, he told me to go to negative fifty eight for for mining. So we're gonna. I think we're gonna build a little bridge to to the main island or main area real quick. Um, I think we'll just do it out of cobblestone, just like everything else, and we can beautify it up any other time. Um, honestly, I feel like. We just make a, a one by one strip right now. Um, I don't think anything's gonna c go out of its way to come here. We can add, if anything, like a little fence or something. Um, I think we just do that for now. Okay, cool. So this is the only thing is that I will just jump in the water and like be stuck in here because we're kind of floating. So um, I mean, for now we just make it a parkour thing so no one can get up here other than us. And then uh, later we'll beautify it up. I think for now, um, while I would like to make it all pretty, uh, we did a lot of beautifying and like building last time. I think this time it's important to to mix it up. So, so here's the thing: to get rid of these pillagers and keep them from spawning too much, what we would need to do is put a bunch of glass panes at the top. Which you can put anything, but glass panes will make them spawn at a specific point. You'll know where they spawn. Like, because all of them just spawn at one block. So if they spawn there, it just makes it a little bit easier for us. Because um, then in the future, when we turn it into a raid farm, we'll know where they spawn. So we're going to, we'll need glass panes, but we're also going to need leaves, which means we need iron. And we don't have much iron. Because if you guys remember, we really didn't mine at all last time. We started this mine, but um, we never really went anywhere with it. So we're going to keep this thing going. And um, that's, that's what we're going to just do for now. And then... Um, yeah, that, that's about it. I think I think when we get to negative fifty eight, we just start strip mining. We try to get uh, as much um, loot as possible. Um, we also gotta light everything up for now. Eventually, I want to get just a bunch of kelp, soul sand, magma block, that whole combo, and just make an easy little elevator. Uh, I feel like that's the play. But for now, we'll just light it up and keep mining down. And um. Keep in mind, we are in hardcore. Um, obviously, the world doesn't end when we die. I mean, like, that's just... Yeah, I just don't like the world ending. I've played hardcore so many times, and I don't know if I've said this, like, specifically, but, like, like the world ending is such a cool concept, and then it dies, and you're like, now I just don't get to play anymore. Now I just have to restart from the get-go. It's like, who wants to do all that? You know? Like, why why restart from the beginning of the game? It's just boring. It, it You lose interest in the game so quick. That's why I was like, we're doing hardcore, because it just brings more, um, I don't know. It just makes it more interesting. It's like, yeah, you could die, and then you lose bragging rights, but at least we'll keep playing, you know? We're gonna grab this gold. We did make an iron pickaxe last time, which was good. Let me know if I miss any iron or anything. I am not looking at the walls too much. I might have. There's so many blocks in this game. <laughs> like, there's so many, uh, different stones that it, it gets a little, uh, confusing. Um... The last time I played Minecraft, it was the UHC that Ellie did in his server. So, um, to me, watching like just mining gold, it's like, oh my gosh, we're gonna get, we're gonna get enchanted apples. We'll we'll be uh, safe. And then I'm just like, I'm not even doing that anymore. We're good. I am safe. Like enchanted apples will help, but you know, I'm not fighting anyone. We're good. We're chilling, chilling space. Uh. Did I just break cobblestone? What did I just break? Oh, okay. Yeah, for a sec, I thought we found a a, a spawner. I, I forgot about cobble deep slate. That is going to make this a little annoying, isn't it? Would it be better to start mining at negative... At, at y equals 11, maybe? Like, maybe the play is we mine at y equals 11 until we get diamonds to get a diamond pickaxe and then get efficiency, and then we go to cobble deep slate? 
I don't know. I again, I haven't played this game uh, much at all since like 1.16. 1.16 was my peak, and then after that, I kind of lost interest in the game. So I played a little bit of 1.17, a little bit of 1.18. Never really explored it. Never even tried 1.19. I, I know nothing about the um, about the warden or anything. I like I know how it works because I've watched videos. I still watch a little bit of Minecraft and stuff, but like I I don't really know much about like you know what the best mining techniques and all the metas are, you know? So, um... But this Call of Deep Slate's nice. I kind of forgot it existed, honestly. Could be nice to build with. I completely forgot it was a thing, and it's like... It's kind of like Netherite, in that it's like dark and kind of pretty, and it can be made pretty. But, um, there's some iron. But, it's, it's, uh... It's annoying to gather. But at least, you know, it's, it's easier to get than Netherite, obviously. If we're able to make a house out of netherite by the end of this, uh, I say we've peaked. I see. I say that's like the peak of the series easily, if we're able to do that somehow. I've seen it before. Obviously, the Psycrafters, crazy with it. They they are uh, they're wild, bro. But um, I'm sure that other people have also done kind of something similar. I don't think it's necessarily hard to do. It's just tedious, right? Like all you really have to do is <laughs> blow up a bunch of chunks. Because it's not like you can blow up um, netherite. So just keep blowing stuff up until you get what you want. Um, I also really... I, I hate leaving spots open for mobs. I know it's stupid. Like, there's... I never optimize... I hear a mob. I hear a zombie. Uh, I, I, there's no point in trying to optimize every cave unless you plan on building a farm down. Um, Alright, I think I'll just be lurking for a bit. Yo, no worries. Thank you for being here. And uh, helping with the view counter and everything. Appreciate it. I hope whatever you're going to do is fun. But yeah, so um I think um it, it it is a little bit silly to like try to plug up every little thing and like light everything up cuz I never build mob farms. I don't really care. Like <laughs> it's it's not that big a deal. Maybe eventually I will because uh it could be better. It could be like make things easier than trying to um let's just make a crafting table down here. It could make things easier than trying to um, kill all the mobs to get loot that we need. But at the moment, I don't really care. So, um, I don't know. It's just no point. It would just be silly to... Uh, it is just silly to keep trying to plug everything up. By the way, is this... This is... um. What is this? Tough, right? I don't know if that means... I don't know if tough just spawns naturally or if... That means there's a amethyst thing nearby. I don't think there's a geode. I'm pretty sure geode ha ge geode has different properties, but um, I'm not sure. We're almost at negative fifty eight. I honestly don't really like mining, even with the caves update. I just haven't ever cared about it. Um, like I do it all the time, but it's just out of necessity. Generally, actually, I'd say I'm like I don't like it for streaming. I, I do like it when I can just mindlessly cave and get a bunch of loot, but I don't know. For streaming, it is a little bit like it's just you're in a dark little dreary area. Like, you're not seeing the light. You're not building. But I'm not good at building. That's the thing. Honestly, I'm just not good at Minecraft, I think. I'm just not a Minecraft guy. I think that's why I've stopped playing for so long. I think the new updates should make things a little more interesting, hopefully. We'll see. I hope so. I will also say it's weird to have this at the FOV that I have it at because I am used to, um, on, on PC, I play at Quick Pro. So like everything's super zoomed out and here, like it's like pushed back. Right. But like here, like you're kind of like more focused in it just, it feels very weird to watch the game like this, but this is how most people play. I'm just weird. All right. We just got redstone, which is good because I, um, for, for one, if I want to, um, make that farm for the uh, raiders, for the pillagers. I will need to make a locator map at some point. And I believe you need a compass for that, which means redstone. Um, but also, it's nice to have redstone. I'm not a redstone person. I'm really bad at it. I would actually love to learn it. Because apparently it's a lot like coding, which I do anyway. Uh, so I, sh I probably should learn it at some point. But, um, yeah. I don't know. It's difficult to learn. Also, it's not good on Bedrock, uh, apparently. I've heard a lot about how terrible it is in comparison to Java. So, it's whatever. 
Maybe one day I'll learn it, maybe not. Okay, from what I remember, I believe Click told me that I should go to negative 58, and I should be standing on negative 58. Which would be one lower. I guess if we do this, and then do this. So this is 58, we're gonna mine one more. Uh, is that bedrock? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, we're gonna mine one lower so that we can... Whenever we want to drop down here, we can just immediately drop and we'll be here. I need torches. I don't have coal. Okay. Um, What are the chances we find coal? I can barely see. I doubt you guys can see at all as well. Uh, Yeah, I don't think we're going to find it. Let's just jump up there real quick. Can I swim faster? I'm sure there's a way to swim faster than this. Right? Surely. There's no way this is the fastest. This game was always way faster at swimming. Did they change the physics? Oh my gosh. This is so slow. I don't remember them changing the physics, but they might have. They might have... I don't know. Alright. Oh, let's get up here. I wish that it would just go faster, though. I'm too impatient for this game, really. Oh, I forgot about this little thing. Yeah, we gotta check out that cave. It might have some coal or something. I got a little nervous, because we don't have, like... Maybe if we get a conduit one day, we can check it out. I don't know if it's worth checking out right now. Oop, there's a tree. Sleep. Um, Let's get some torches. Let's go back down there. Oh, we can get shears, which is good. So I think let's plug that up first. I think that's the first play we go for. Um, so what we're gonna do is, how much wood? Oh, do we, we do have ch charcoal here. Okay, I don't, I don't know why I never, uh, made note of that. I honestly don't remember much of what I did that day, because I was tired that day, so I, I'm, <laughs> I might have just forgotten a lot of stuff and, uh, not realized. Okay, let's stir that all in there. Um, we're gonna keep this here. And then let's actually heat up some of this food on our campfire while we're here. Break this down. And then let's actually make our shears and try to get some of that good, good leaf. Because we will need a lot of leaf, blo leaf blocks for what we're trying to do. And we're all- we're placing these down so like, if we ever need oak leaves, uh, oak saplings, we can always just break them again, and it'll be fine. Um, so I'm not too worried about that part. Oh, and I can also do this one. And that's a perfect multiple four. Wow, look at that. Isn't that cute? Um, okay, so, basically what you have to do first is put three blocks outward from the, um, pillager outpost on each side so that they don't spawn the floor and then you just need to block off the top which i will be doing uh but it requires a lot of leaves and you are here ah oh, crap oh i forgot you're like the really annoying one aren't you can i are you uh do you have a multi-shot or something or can you pierce me i think you can pierce i think that's what that guy does he has a really good bow um i don't think i have the resources to make a bow Unless I have one sitting in my, um... Oh, well, I looked over. My bad. This is the only thing about this base. There's no way to get up where I'm not letting a bunch of drowned and other creatures walk up as well. We'll figure something out, I'm sure. Maybe one day I'll get a trident and then it won't even be an issue. Steak is good. Let's get some steak up in here and let's... What's the button? There it is. Put that there. Um, okay. Yeah, that one guy sitting there is really annoying. And I don't know what the best play to get rid of him is. Um, we only have one string because we've only killed that one spider right at the get-go. Uh, and he, he breaks through shield. So, I mean... Like, I'm sure if I really... I forgot that he does that. <laughs> yeah, silly guy. Um, I'm sure if I wanted to, I could put in the effort to, like, 
build stuff and like try to jump over and do some cheese way to kill him. I just don't care enough. I don't think it's worth it. Let's just ignore it and move on. What I do want to do real quick is um I think we should make a chest plate. Cuz again, we are in hard hardcore and uh I am very nervous about dying. I think I'm not that good at this game. It's been so long, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to die if I'm not careful. My lips hurt. They're they're chapped, bro. I I literally put chapstick constantly. I don't know why they're so chapped all the time. Um. Hmm. All right. So we make it. We can make a chest plate now, which we're gonna do. I think this is the best way to stay safe. Honestly, I think we can rush him and kill him now. We have a chest plate, right? I just eat this. Go for it, maybe. Famous last words. Let's just go for it. Try me now, boy. Okay. Thanks for the lag. I did get the bow. Sick. What's it got? Piercing too. I thought so. I was pretty sure it was piercing. Okay. Well, we have this now. I say we start... I can give you guys, like, an idea of where the leaves are supposed to go. Oh, but there's a guy there with a crossbow. See, this is the only thing. Like, I can't... I'm not going to turn it to peaceful just to do this. That kind of defeats the whole purpose. So, I got to be really careful here while we're, like, in this area. But we have to go out one, two, three. And we just have to do this around the entire edge. Oops. But it's really difficult with the way... First of all, the fact that I'm on controller. And second of all, the fact that I have... Oh my gosh. And I'm... Yeah, again, I'm on controller. But also just the fact that I have a bunch of mobs here. Um, that are scaring me. Is not making this any easier. But these are like all the spots where these guys uh, spawn in. Oh, that's a... Okay, we gotta be careful if we kill that guy. Because... um. Oh my gosh. We have to be careful if we kill that guy because he's going to give us bad omen effect, which we don't want. Um, Because there's a village really nearby and I don't know if we're going to accidentally trigger a raid if we accidentally get bad omen with this, like, with the proximity we have to this village. Um, dude, that guy did damage very fast. It's, it's, I'm not sure what we want to do here because, um, I mean, at least this side is now covered. This guy's coming after me right now, for real? Uh, all right. Well, we cooked all of our food. We can uh, we can leave some of. We can let's just keep the pork chops with us. I think the steak we can leave for later. Like we're not in anything too hectic right now. Oh, we do have these eggs. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Hi, friend. How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? You know what? Let's put a ladder here. I think they shouldn't be able to climb ladders. Pretty sure foxes don't know how to climb ladders. Um, let's put a little ladder here. Hi, friends. <laughs> All right. He's, he stole one of my eggs, but I'm not going to blame him. I think he's hungry. It's fine. D did this guy despawn? I think so. Unless you're here. Ah. Well, this was a dumb decision, wasn't it? Yeah, good job, idiot. <laughs> Thanks for the arrow, I guess. Um. Yeah, it's real ugly down here. I'm going to say that as well. We will have to do something about the underside of that because, oh, not great. Um, all right, well, I mean, now that he's dead, let's just use the rest of these leaves real quick before any of them come back. There's another wandering trader. I still hate these guys. They never really had any use. I can't wait for them to one day maybe have a use, possibly, potentially. One, two, three. Well, don't do that now. Good job. Sandwall, you did not get me. You didn't get me, loser. Thanks for trying, though. <laughs> Good attempt. Uh, what I'm also realizing is the point is to put it, like, 
on the ground. I think we have to put it on the ground. So I think all of this might be useless. I don't know. Uh, we're a little low. I want to leave. Um, yeah, this pillager outpost is going to be a bit of a struggle. I don't know if we'll be able to clean it up this stream. I think this is going to be have to, uh, have to be the next one. Um, but it's fine. I mean, uh, at some point we'll get it, I'm sure. And then we can turn it into a raid farm, which, again, the reason I don't want to do that now is because that's also going to require us to get one villager, put them over here, and then they're going to be, like, a village. Like, they need to be named as a village. So that one villager essentially constitutes a village, which means the one that's, like, a little past this outpost, that one would have to um, be moved. It'd have to be moved, like, at least 100 blocks away, because I don't think two villages can be that close to each other. They have to be pretty far. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the issue. I did put water at the bottom here, right? I think I did. Okay, I did. Sick. Creepy noises. Love those creepy noises. Keep it up, game. Uh, I don't know exactly how much you can mine without putting a torch now, because I know that they changed the light level, so now it has to be light level zero. Um, it, for the... For, for a mob to spawn. So I'm not totally sure how many, because like it used to be you can mine 11 blocks and on that 11th block you had to put a torch. I assume you can do a little more now. I'll just put it when it gets dark, honestly. This is part of the reason why I liked for the glare to be added. I don't know. It's silly, but it was just like, oh, maybe I could see, you know, where I need to put torches while still keeping a place dark, you know? I think the Alay one instead, which again, still a good mob. Uh, it's a little bit not Minecraft though. It's a little bit like very strong, but you know, whatever. It'd be like that. It happens. What are the boys up to? I wonder what the boys are up to. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Are they still playing uh, Fall Guys and stuff? Did Roth end? Oh, Roth is playing Star Wars now. Jeez. Ellie's doing so well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ellie's got a very good uh, viewer count today. I'm not used to seeing it. Like, he, he always does well, but I have never seen him that high. I like keeping up with what my friends are, what my friends are streaming while I'm streaming. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm always just like, oh, look at that. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Um... Here we go. Uh, we know that there's a... Oh, they're like they're like all around us, huh? See, this is the thing that I was warned about. Uh, how do I want to do this? Should I try to go one up? And see if it's... Is it here? No, it's not here. Okay, so theoretically, I should be able to get above it. Right here. Ooh, okay. Maybe not. Here? Yeah, okay. I was warned that this is a good place to get killed by lava, if you're not careful. I think I shouldn't get... Yeah, that should stay there. We're just trying to scope up, scope out this lava pool because there could be diamonds around. Or just a cave around, which could be good for us. Oops. Let's fix that and grab you i know i could be using the iron pick but we just don't have enough iron right now to be wasting it on uh a bunch of stone i just i get nervous doing that i hear skeletons which means there is a cave system here somewhere we're just gonna block this off just in case um because does make me a little nervous but I think we may have uncovered something significant, potentially. We're going to have to dig around a bit. Um, It's generally easier to start caving, I think, but we haven't found any caves near us. I think we were looking for one on the first day. I don't think we found, like, literally anything. There's nothing going down. That looks like a cave right there. Giant lava pool generally means something's out there. I also think my headphones are a little off. I think they're broken. 
Because I feel like I hear things stronger in the right ear, even when things are not supposed to be directional. So potentially, if I like, if you guys see me going a complete different way than I should be going, based off noises, that's why. Because see, that sounds more like it's on the right for me, even though like it should be on the left. So yeah, I think they're a little broken, but oh well, it happens. I don't really get high-end headphones most of the time. I have Galaxy Buds, but other than that, like these Samsung headphones, I've just I always just buy pairs of these even though they're like not good. <laughs> they're like 20 bucks, I think or maybe less. You could try to turn on subtitles if you want. Does does Better Condition have that? I actually don't know. Uh, I would assume it's maybe in video. Uh, not there. General? Oh, is there an accessibility option? It might be in that. Or audio? I don't know. I don't see it. They have subscriptions. Realm Plus. Oh yeah, Realms and all that. Okay, I forgot that was a subscription. They just paid for it. Yeah, I don't think there's a... I don't think we have subtitles on here. Meanwhile, I did hear a zombie dying. So, where would it be? It's, I'm also trying to decide if it's even worth looking for this, or if we just go back down, mine a different direction. I feel like with the stuff that we have on us, which is not much, like just the complete lack of resources that we have right now, it might be better just to start mining in a different direction. We can go back for that cave at any time, though. At the end of the day, all we're trying to do is quickly get resources and then, like, start building farms and stuff. Okay. Um, different direction? <laughs> we just keep avoiding lava for as long as possible? One of these days we'll get to it, I'm sure, but, um... For now, there's just no reason to uh, risk our lives. Because, <laughs> again, we don't even have full iron yet. And much less diamond. And on hard mode, I'd rather have netherite. And even that isn't going to stop the warden from destroying us. So, really, there's no safety. Does anyone know what level the ancient deep spawns at? Or whatever, the, the deep dark or whatever? I think we're already in like the quote unquote ancient dark or whatever just by being under zero. But um I don't know where the deep dark or like the the ancient city that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah. We're in the deep dark already. How how do you like where do you find an ancient city? Cuz we're definitely not ready to take one on yet. Cuz even though we can crouch and stuff, the mobs will get to us. Um okay. That's just that's what it's going to be, huh? But yeah, like, even though, um, we can't yet get to it, or, like, fight it, at least we can keep one in mind if we find one, and then, uh, we can go for it later. Because, like, the thing with it is, like, if you just crouch, the warden's not an issue. The only issue is the, the, all the other mobs that spawn down there that will become a problem. But if you just slowly light it up, and then leave, and then come back, light everything up, leave, without initiating any shriekers, I don't think... It should be too big an issue. And then we can just quickly loot, get out of there, you know? I think the Shrieker pops like four times or something before the Warden goes. So we just get a couple chests. Or just break the Shriekers and then leave. I don't know. Again, I have not played this... Um this version ever and i haven't played this game itself in a very long time so i don't know maybe i'm wrong maybe there's maybe it's not that easy but that's what i get for playing no minecraft for as long as i have that's just kind of my l um just a second guys okay and just making sure
Okay. Thank you. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous. I feel like we're going to die. I feel like we're going to die very fast. Because this is like... Mining is just like... It's scary. There's always like... You'll just break into a cave and there's like a million creepers and skeletons there. And it, it just always freaks me out. I think at some point we should go exploring. We should make some maps now that we have compasses and go exploring. And uh, after we make... I, I think next stream or maybe like later this stream, we start making some farms. Um, Simple farms. I don't feel like playing with redstone. We'll just make some manual farms. I don't think we're going to need too much of anything right now. Like if we need something more, we'll go and do that later. But I say we make a farm for like sugarcane and stuff so we can get a bunch of paper, make some maps... And then we make a bunch of other farms to get food and stuff. And um, as soon as we can leave, we just... Uh, let's go this way. I think there's less gravel here, yeah. As soon as we're able to leave, we just dip and we uh, try to find... First of all, buried treasure, which, like I said in last stream, I just love looking for. Um, and also... Uh, you didn't get me, HSW. <laughs> Thanks for trying! Um... It's 500 rat points too much. I could always lower it. I love when people give it an attempt, but I feel bad when, <laughs> when they can't even scare me properly. Um, yeah, so I love getting buried treasure, and I also... Okay. I also want to find a mansion, if we could, or like... I don't know if... Um, that's a little difficult to find. Maybe we won't be able to find a mansion. But maybe we can find more villages. Maybe we can find an outpost that has a lace. That could be cool. It's a bit high and timing is hard with a good old six second mobile delay. You know what? I'll lower it right now. How about that? I will lower it right now. I was contemplating earlier today switching up some of the uh, rat points anyway. Because I want some new ones, which I'm, I'm thinking about what would be fun to have. If you guys have suggestions, obviously let me know. Feel free. Um, edit. Let's make it... Viewers earn 220 per hour, right? So let's make it 250, I say. Or 200. Let's make it 200 and see how that goes. There we go. It should be 200 now. Um, And there's only a slight cooldown. Okay. But yeah. Um, What was I going to say? What was I talking about? Yeah, I was thinking of some new um, ideas. And I'm going to see if I can implement some of them. The thing is, I don't have, like, a VTuber like Ellie, so he, he's able to add, like, a lot more cool, um, cool, cool little guys. Cool little things that you guys can mess with. Uh, gotta go, see you later. Alright. Um, thank you for the hydrate, and, uh, have a good night. Thank you for your dropping in for a sec. I'm gonna drink that water right now. Nice. Good. I forget, honestly, to hydrate sometimes. I've been, uh, I've been trying to, trying to remember. I get through this water bottle pretty fast, so there's a lot of water in here. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we can find. We are not making very fast progress because, um, this deep slate is really slow going. But diamonds are more, like, common down here, so apparently it's worth it. Maybe, I think we just keep going and just keep hoping. If we really can't find anything for a while, we'll go up and we'll find something else to do. Maybe start those farms. Because, um, I mean, theoretically, like, if you want to make the most of your mining sessions all the time, like, if you really want the most, then probably the best play is getting a diamond some other way. Like, getting a diamond pickaxe. Um through a buried treasure or whatever and then um then um what do you call it ah yeah <laughs> getting a pickaxe uh enchanting it with fortune three and then um then going mining because then every diamond every redstone iron everything is the max you're able to get so then you're not wasting because like in the past iron and gold it didn't matter but now like every single resource you get more of if you use fortune three so 
part of me has been like, should I just go adventuring, try to get a diamond pickaxe without mining, and then just leave it for later? But also, it's like, it could take so long, and is it really worth it for the few diamonds that I'll be saving, you know? Or gaining from that? I don't know. It could be worth it. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just like, in terms of content, it's just boring trying to uh, get a diamond pickaxe for that long. Because it wouldn't get be fast. There's no way it would take like a short amount of time. So we just have to play and play and play until we get a diamond pick. And considering I don't play this off stream, because like I don't want to die off stream, so I only stream it. It's just, uh, there's no point, right, in, in spending a bunch of streams trying to get a dime pick when I could just go mining, get one, hopefully, in the first, like, hour or so. I think we should hopefully get lucky. I've, I've only found redstone so far, though. I gotta no find out what uh, level is good for iron, because I don't have, like, any iron at all. Because the only one I know is diamond is at negative 58, but at the same time, um, oops, at the same time, oh my gosh, I think every other item is now, like, different, you know? Like, it's all at different levels, you can't find them all at one level. Uh, or they might be one level where they're all, like, kind of common, but if you want them most common, you have to go at specific levels for each of them. So that does make things a little more difficult. Maybe at some point we can make like elevators that go to each level. So you can either go all the way down or you can go like to um, the iron level or the gold level and stuff and just find everything separately. Gold I don't really care about too much. Redstone you're probably going to find at diamond level anyway. Um, I think iron and diamond are the two most important mining levels to find. But I don't know. It depends. I'm pretty sure iron is like higher up though, because there's no way we're this unlucky. I mean, just to get iron, there's no way we're this unlucky. We've only found like two patches, I think. Maybe not even that. Yeah, we only found one patch because we have none here. Also, it really flashbangs me when that <laughs> inventory pops up. God dang. That's uh That's just rough. Oh nice. Minecraft sounds uh another thing is coal. We have not found any coal yet. We're going to have to go back up and see. I think I might just have to research which, like, search up which um, levels to find stuff at. We might have to go coal and iron mining first. All right, it's getting dark here and we don't have any coal, so let's go back. I don't think there's any point wasting food like that. What we're going to do is start looking... For um, for these for these different things, real quick. Um, mining level for iron, one point nineteen. Uh, iron can appear beneath the surface of the overworld from seventy two all the way to negative sixty four. So it should be showing up. I might just be uh, I might just be unlucky. The, but the the best place to go is 15. Okay, 15. And what about coal? Coal has a very large distribution range starting at level 0 and ending at level 256. Starting at 0? Oh. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Wait, starting at... Am I am I crazy? I thought I thought it would start like much later. Or much earlier, sorry, like higher up. Um It used to appear evenly between 0 and 125. Oh, wait, wait. Am I an idiot? Yeah, I am an idiot. It's okay, okay, okay. It, it starts at zero as in that's the bottom and it goes to 256, which is the top. I don't know why I didn't process that. Okay, so what they're saying is 15 is probably the best level. 
if I want to find iron and coal. So, um... Coal, best place to mine is 96. So if we wanted to go at wine 96, we could. But again, that's also outside, like... That's not mining, that's just exploring at that point. So, we're gonna go to 15. And we're gonna start mining there to get some of the stuff we need. And then we'll come back down here when we're, like, good and loaded up. Maybe if we have more iron, we can start using an iron pick instead of a stone one. Um... And we'll make two elevator, like we'll make a separate section of the elevator that just stops at 15 so we can, um, we can come down there whenever we want. Now the slow climb up. Hopefully we'll be able to get magma and soul sand soon because this is atrocious. It is, uh, devastating having to do this. It is not fun. This is this is great guys. This is so awesome. How was your day? How was your day? Yeah. Um <laughs> gosh. It's okay. We're close though, and this is going to be very good for us now when we get to 15 because it also means we'll be going faster. Uh is 15? I assume 15's like here. Yeah. Okay, break that. And if we just are able to get in here. Perfect timing for you to break. Okay, thank you. Maybe we have to break the one that's right in front of us. I don't know why I didn't do that. <laughs> I don't know why I broke the one to our side. That was silly. Um, But we'll just break this real quick and then we'll be good. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Y equals 15. All right, there we go. Let's just dig straight in this direction. What's nice is we're never going to run into lava up here, I think. I'm pretty sure it spawns at like negative 53 or something. What does suck is obviously we won't get diamonds from my knowledge. I'm pretty sure they don't spawn up here. Or if they do, they're very, uh, very uh, rare. But um, if we can get some coal down here only, then I don't have to go back up to make torches. But we're getting a little bit unlucky, so I might have to. Yeah. All right, what we're going to do is just... We're just going to block this off, honestly. Just in case. So that nothing can kill us when it comes... If it spawns over there. And we're just going to go and get some torches. And try... Try again, I guess. Maybe we don't mine for diamonds. We'll see. If we can just get some iron and coal, that'll be good. Like, if we just load up on that, on this stream, I don't mind that. Um, I would have preferred to get some diamonds to make things a little bit faster, but... I think we're gonna get unlucky. I also don't know where Lapis grows, that's another one. Is this the only one that grew still? Dang, okay. We also gotta get animals on this island at some point. We're gonna need some sheep. That's, that's the thing. Well, we're not going to need any, I guess. I just like getting wool over, like, concrete and stuff. But, um, we don't necessarily need it, so. At the end of the day, we can always just ignore it if we don't feel like doing that. We need two of these, and we're going to put these, I guess, just here. Remember when you couldn't put chests next to each other? Remember that time? God, we've come so far from then. What I'm also going to do is grab this, because we're almost out, and I think it's going to be important to have that on us. Okay, um, what do we want to do? We want to get some... Yeah, we're probably going to have to just smelt these. Let's just make some torches, and then we can hopefully stop using wood for that stuff. You know, while that smelts, let's also uh, break this tree down and try to get some more saplings out of it. Because we want to try to plant these and keep them around. Oh, boy. I almost fell down. Hey, guys. Produce any more for me? Yeah, you did. Thank you. At some point, we will use these eggs in a meaningful way. Um, I think for now, 
I mean, I guess a chicken farm isn't that difficult to do, and it'll be good food for us. Like, very good, quick food. So I think that might be um, something... But also, like, I don't remember how to make one of those. <laughs> those are one of those things I just have to, like, try to remember, and it's just not... It's... it's I'm too stupid. I'm too silly. So, um... Oh, well. Oh, look at you! As I was watching... Before my very eyes. Give me your wood. Alright, and then we get that. And we get that. Okay. Uh, this all decays, and then we get going. We start on an adventure. I would... I know I could just leave, but I'd rather let the uh, leaves decay real quick. Just to replant. Because at some point, we're going to have a self-sufficient base. Preferably. That's the the plan i hope so um at that point i'd like for you know every type of wood to have its own little section you know what, let's go get the sugarcane over there we don't necessarily need it we already have sugarcane but like let's plunder the resources <laughs> let's steal all these natural resources from everyone else who needs them oh cool look at that you know what? i'll actually take it Hi, wolves. Don't mind me. Just stealing your sugar. Sugarcane does not look appetizing. I will say that. I know it's supposed to be sugar, but sugar and sugarcane boats look so, like, bland. I don't know. They don't look like something I'd actually want to eat. Considering it's literally just raw sugar. But raw sugar isn't... Is, is raw sugar good? Or is it, um... Or do they, like, add more stuff to it that makes it all sweet and good? I don't know. Is that a stupid question? It might be. I don't know. <laughs> it might it might be a really silly question. Oh boy. Alright, let's get over here. I think we can break the rest of these. We already got two leaves back, so we've and I just saw one pop up there. And there's another one. Sick. So yeah, we've made more than enough. I think I don't know if it's the same i'm pretty sure that if you break leaves you get less return uh or i might be wrong i don't know if that still exists but um that's why i just i don't break it but yeah i might be wrong who knows i might just be making stuff up again all right we're just gonna fall a little bit of the way because we see this there we go Perfect. We're just going to start this from here. And then when it gets too dark, we go again. It doesn't look like... That should not be too dark to... uh. Oh! Well, would you look at that. I hear creepy noises. I don't like it. Really don't like the creepy noises in this game. Can I maybe... Can I swim in this? And it should let me, yeah, there we go. Let's just see what's out here a little bit. Uh, there's iron. I will go for that, I think. And what we're gonna do real quick is also, uh, can I get, uh, there we go. We're gonna block this off like that real quick. Just so that we don't get um flooded again, which I think we're about to be. There we go. And you and give me <laughs> maybe we just loop around. There we go. Um this is what we wanted, this is why we came here. Iron, which is good for us. Let's keep looking around if we see anything else that's interesting over here. Otherwise, we will leave and go our separate ways. Okay, I think we're good. I don't know where redstone spawns. It could be in this level as well. Like, I do know that diamonds are most common in the place we were mining, but they are still possible here. There's some more iron. I don't think the torch trick works anymore, so... Oh, but, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm gonna drown. <laughs> I, I'm gonna lose. Okay, um, I think we might just have to leave this cave for now, because 
and just come back to it another time because it's just not like it's just not our skill level honestly we don't have a conduit we don't have anything i say we just keep moving hope we don't hit it again um otherwise we'll we'll find some other way around it because when we get a conduit which hopefully i don't know if conduits are affected by y level if they're not we're gonna put it like right above our base anyway so it's gonna uh, trigger and it's gonna affect us if they are we'll just keep a portable conduit with us because honestly after you get the hearts of the sea which you need you would need two if i want to but um i mean then again i don't even need one near our base like i'm not doing anything underwater so i just keep a portable portable one place it here and do my thing you know oops i want to put you there and uh sorry no i want you here no wait <laughs> wait hang on i want to break you and then put you here and then put you here perfect there we go i think this is still gonna flood us though yeah there it is whoops don't break my torch. Thank you. Um, What are we going to do? We want to put one here. And if I can just break this, which I can. Then that's perfect. Uh, What are we seeing over here? Thankfully, there's going to be no mobs, which is nice. Wow, we're seeing literally nothing because it is horrible in here. Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we just try to try to keep moving forward and try to um keep the water out of our face, maybe, or go under it a little bit and then come back around, or maybe we just go left. <laughs> I think that's the better play, maybe. Let's do it from here. Yeah, this is just one of those moments where it's just like. Ugh, I don't know what to do. Like, I, I don't have any... I don't know. It's difficult. Again, this is what happens when I don't play this game for so long. Like, I know the controls and stuff, but, like, I just... <sighs> I just can't think quickly of, like, what would... What would Dream do? <laughs> WWDD. <laughs> no, just, like, um... I, I just can't think of, like, I can't remember all the ways that people get through these situations, you know? Like, there's, you know, obviously you got, like, the water bucket clutch, which works way better on Java, so I just, like, I can't really do that on here. Like, stuff like that, if you're, like, in a in a pickle, you can do that to get out. So there's a bunch of, like, little, like, this is an open world game, right? So there's so many items and things you can play with that, like, you can, you know... Really figure out like different tactics to get out a bunch of different situations. I just don't remember any of them anymore because it's been so long since I've played. Like I just don't know how to stay out of trouble. <laughs> That's kind of the problem, or get out of trouble. But you know, ooh, copper. I think that's our first copper of the uh, of the game. Not that it means anything. It doesn't really do anything for us. Especially not now, but even later, all it's going to do really that I care about is the spyglass. And maybe one day lightning rods if we want to get lightning creepers. But even that is like, that's only for an achievement, I think. Um, excuse me. Uh, that's, I think there's an achievement that's like, um, kill a mob with while wearing its head. So that would be easier to do with a lightning rod and getting a charge creeper and then just like blowing it up. But even then, you can just do it with a wither skeleton. Which drop naturally. So maybe there's something with copper that would be helpful with um with an achievement or something, but otherwise it's just a decorative block. I know on um on PC or on Java, there is <laughs> there's like advancements to what was it spy on a bee and look at a parrot like i think you have to spy glass uh and look at a bee and a and a bird for like some advancements or something advancements are silly there's a lot of like very easy ones and then there's like insane ones like uh having every potion effect on at the same time which is uh, difficult which I'm glad is not in Bedrock, because I would honestly lose my mind trying to do that on every single platform I play this game on. 
Let's do one, two, three, four. Thank you. <sighs> We're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep mining. There's some coal. Thank you. That's what we want. And some gold. Perfect. Coal gold. That's what we like to see. I think I talk too fast for that caption thing sometimes. I've rewatched some of my videos and VODs and stuff and realized, like, obviously, I edit some of my stuff. Um, by the way, I've got like 13 streams to look through for March. It's going to be a long edit. So when the best of March comes out, share it with your friends. Watch it, please. God, it's going to take so long for me to do. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to do it in the next, like, three weeks-ish. We'll see. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to promise anything because, God, it's going to take so long. But my point being, I edit, obviously, so I know a bit about, like, how I talk. And I've realized that I definitely can be difficult to understand sometimes because I talk fast or I mumble my words or like I slur my words together and string them together because it's just how I talk in real life like if I'm talking I'm just talking to you like this like I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna like wait for you to catch up because most people in New Jersey just know how to how I talk and they can keep up with me and it's all good right but like when I'm when I'm trying to talk to you guys it's like I gotta be a little more like thoughtful when I'm saying stuff like I gotta actually think it through and I, I have to make sure the words go through and stuff like I, I feel like I'm talking to a toddler sometimes but then when I just forget to do that then I just start slowing on my words again and then you can see it in the caption where it's just like what what what'd you say huh say that again what <laughs> and, and it just gets confused and says like some random stuff I, I um I actually tried to get the caption to say re the ace Oh my god, it said it! <laughs> I, I tried to make it... Okay, I don't... I think I'm pointing to something that VOD won't be able to see, but VOD, basically, I have a caption system that I set up, uh, to, like, this morning. Um, so it's just a plugin that auto-captions stuff, so if you're trying to watch the VOD, uh, or if you're trying to watch the stream live and you have to mute or whatever, you can just keep reading. And, um... And I tried, like, it has a couple things that it can replace certain words with other words. Like, when I say Ari, it won't say A-R-I, it will say A-A-R-Y, um, which is cool. So, um, and I also replaced Ellie, so it'll say E-L-Y instead of E-L-L-I-E. -E. Um, and so, yeah, so, like, it's great, it does that, but I tried to replace stuff, so it's, uh, so it's say, like, in one fell swoop, Ari the ace. But when I when I when I tried it, it would say stuff like this, like already the ace or whatever. Like it wouldn't say Ari the ace. No matter what I did, I replaced so many different terms. Like I replaced like the letters R E and then the ace. I like replaced so many different terms to try to get it to say my name, uh, my full YouTube name, and it just wouldn't. My full my full name, <laughs> Ari the ace is my full name. Um, it just wouldn't. I just couldn't get to do it. But then just now, I said it's slow enough, and it it said it it said it with spaces in between. It said Ari, and then the, and then Ace. It didn't say one full thing. But it said it, which is very close, like, to what I wanted. And you can decipher what I wanted, so that's cool. All right, all right, all right. Oh, come on. You, you loser. That sucks. Just as the pickaxe broke as well. All right, let's see what's over here. We were so close to avoiding these for so like we, for so long we were able to avoid them. It looks gigantic though. Hang on, if we go down here and like are actually able to see, uh, can I break this? Yeah, I can. Like, it's huge. It's a ravine. There's something up there. Oh, oh, hi! You scared me. Startled me a little bit. <gasps> Glow squid! Oh my gosh, I haven't seen one of these guys before. I don't think. Definitely not in bedrock. Please don't drown. Please don't drown. Thank you. There's a glow squid over here. This is, I mean, this is a pl perfect place for glow squid. What's up, Risco? Yeah, I'm playing bedrock. You hear me. You hear it right. You see it right. You right. <laughs> you right. Um, This is a beautiful little place. Unfortunately, still don't own a conduit. So we're just going to turn to the left. No. Wait, hang on. Uh, oh crap, which way do we turn? Because I guess we have to turn left, but I'm pretty sure that's going to take us back. 
I mean, I guess we've made it. We've gone so far that like where our bases shouldn't be a problem. But I feel like we're just going in a circle right now. I feel like we're trapped on all sides by water. It's really bad. Welcome, Risco. I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, we were playing duck game earlier, and uh, Ellie was not a fan. He was not enjoying it, so he left. And so I decided, let's play Minecraft instead, because I've been uh, been waiting for today. Because I, I only made Minecraft once a week, and uh, I mean, I'm not a Minecraft streamer, right? Like, I don't want to be. I don't want to only play this game, so I don't mind it being uh, as little as it is. But, um... You're telling me a duck made that game? Yeah. It was a really good game in my opinion. I had a lot of fun. I think I'd want to play it again if we can get other people in. But uh, Ellie was very much not enjoying it. So we dipped. But Daisy likes it. Maybe I can get Daisy in. Maybe one day on like a Friday when she streams, I can just uh, bombard her and play duck game with her. Because it's really good. In my opinion. That being said, I have played it once before. I played it on a friend's... Sorry, let me... Uh... <laughs> That's right, it's Bedrock. You're watching a true girl queen pussy boss now, gamers. You were right. You were right, Samuel. Um, I, I, on a friend's computer once, we were like at an event or something, and we were, we were bored. So we booted up his computer to see what he had on Steam, and he had Duck Game. And we gave it a shot, and honestly, when I played it back then, I was not a fan either. Uh, so... I think it is possible that maybe one day Ellie will, like, try it again and be like, you know what, I like it. But I think, for now, that game is just out of question. Why do you water fricks hate me so much? Water hates me, dude. I can't play this freaking game because they just keep coming after me. Uh, I think, I think, yeah, this cave is small enough that we can just go past it, I think. No point in trying to go around it. Let's just go through There we go. Hopefully that should be good enough, just like that. <sighs> Dude, these water caves have been trapping me from every angle. It's so annoying. Wasn't the whole thing with Ellie and him saying he didn't like playing multiplayer games with you so that he could play it more and be better than you when you do play it? Well, the thing is, he... Okay, so he said that for Ultimate Chicken Horse, where he was like, I don't want to play this anymore. But he was, like, just doing a bit to make... to So that we wouldn't play it or whatever. I don't know. His... I don't know. I don't know what his philosophy is. But I think this one was, like, he wasn't even doing a, a joke. He just really wasn't in the mood. And I don't think there's anything we could have really done to... Like, I, I, sometimes you just don't enjoy games, and that's okay. Ooh, Lapis. Um... And that's, that's just how it goes, you know? Like, some games are just, like... They just ain't it for you. I personally liked it. Uh, so I wanted to keep playing. But, like... I'm not gonna force him to keep playing. Honestly, I'd rather, like, people just say, like, Hey, you know what? I don't want to play. Because then you're not... Yeah, you're bringing your all to every stream, you know? You're not just playing just to play and then hating the game. So... I'm pretty sure we can break this with stone, but I'd rather just do it with iron. I don't care. Um, so yeah, it's like... It is good that he just said something so that we didn't keep playing a game we didn't want to keep playing. Or that we all weren't enjoying. But I think Bond enjoyed it from the looks of it. And I think Daisy was the one who suggested it, but she, was, she had to miss today's stream. Um, and Bishop wasn't there, and he might be interested. So... Um, we could still try this again with Bond, Daisy, and Bishop and see how that goes. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind doing that. We'd have to probably choose a different day or see if there's a Wednesday where um, our group doesn't do something. Because so far we've been doing everything... Uh, we've been doing something every Wednesday uh, together for like a month now, I think. So, we'll see what happens. Is that clay? What the heck? Where are we? Let's just get past this clay so I can put a torch down. And then we're going to dig this up. Because, um... Did we find an... Is this another underwater cave thing? It might be. I think we're about to dig into some water, honestly. But... I'll take the clay. I was actually talking earlier about needing... Not needing, but wanting to have clay on me in case we want to use it. I feel like it's one of those resources that, like... You know... Can we do an Among Us 1v1? <laughs> 
Among Us 1v1. One of us is the imposter and one of us is innocent. Wonder what will happen. Ooh, iron. Yeah, I don't think there's any real reason to have clay, but... Um... But why not, you know? My easiest dub. Not if you're the innocent. Then you lost. Then you are loser. Yeah, is is clay like um is it um is it is there an infinite way to make it now? I know that for a long time there wasn't. I think if you have the raid effect, then some villagers will drop it now. So I think that's the only way to get it like infinitely renewable. But um otherwise it's not. That's why I like collecting it, because it's like it's kind of like, it's one of those resources where it, it literally is not useful for anything really, but it's like kind of difficult to get, so you just, you just want to keep it on you, you know? You just want to get some. I think it's infinite with something to do with mud. Oh, true. Okay. Now that mud's in the game, that will... Is it in the game yet? Is mud coming later or is it in the game now? Again, coming back to this game after like three big updates of not playing properly... There's a lot of stuff to learn. We're gonna just block this off. If mud's in the game now, that's pretty cool. It seemed like a cool resource. I'm not really a builder, so I don't really care too much. There's the water. Oh, <laughs> It was the last torch. It was the last, last uh, place for the water to be. Let's actually move up a little bit. Uh, you are not. Uh, I think this is gonna be water. Uh, no, this one. Yep, there it is. Okay, if I break you, then I can get over here. I can do that. Okay. Now, how bad of a cave are you? I think you're kind of the same one that we saw before. So we can just block you up again and keep moving. This is great because I get to use my diorite or my granite, uh, and I hate it. So I, I can just use it to block stuff off, and I don't need I don't need to bring it home. All right, we keep moving. Surprisingly, very little resources so far, considering this is supposed to be the quote unquote iron level. Like it's supposed to be where they show up the most. We have nineteen iron. Like that's not great. But it's fun. I'm sure one of these days we'll like. I think we just get enough to have. Like, I just want enough to be able to like make little farms, maybe pistons and stuff if we really need it. I think the biggest farm that we need to make is the raid farm. I think because then you get a ton of emeralds and stuff, and you get like all these resources. Um. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Glow squid kind of scared me, but then just see, opening up to like that fascinating view was really cool. But also, I was a little startled. Just a wee bit. Ooh, cool. I'll take that in a second. I want to make sure that there's no water above it, maybe. But... That was, like, majestic, though. Now, is this all water? It looks like it. Oh, come on. Why is it always all water, man? Please. I'm gonna drown. I'm 100% gonna drown. I'm gonna start drowning. Oh, please let me out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. That was terrifying. I don't like... Okay, maybe I have a fear of the ocean. <laughs> maybe I do. I've never really felt that fear before. Like, but like, I didn't like what just happened to me. Like, in my brain. I was very scared of getting lost and drowning in that ocean forever. I handled it pretty calmly, but I was freaking out in my brain. I hated that so much. It's crazy because I know there's nothing even in there. Like, there's nothing in the ocean that can attack us in this game. It's not like there's, like, a shark or, like, <laughs> like a megalodon that's just going to show up and, like, destroy you. There's not like going to be, like, a kraken or something. Like, there's nothing even in this game that's scary in the ocean other than, like, the, the guardians, which are in their own designated area. But for some reason, it scared me. Right, let's see what's over here. Anything interesting? I would maybe like to go for those magma blocks. Could be good. 
just to start our elevator that we're going for, right? But I think it's too far, and I think I'm gonna drown. So let's go to the right, maybe? Let's look around and see, um... Is there anything to the right? We can't really see in the water, but there's like a nice spot here. Yeah. I think we've gone far enough down here that we can go to the right and like this way and be fine. If we get hit with water, we'll... I mean, at that point, I honestly think we just go up because we're just getting super unlucky then because we've seen like three water caves now, all separate. We're just in the middle of a bunch of water caves and it's just... There's nothing we can do about it. Like... Unless we just start building our way through, which just is boring. If it really comes down to it, we can do that, but like, it's boring. <laughs> All right, let's grab that. Excuse me, let's... I didn't even burp or anything, I just huffed into the camera and was like, excuse me. Shut up, Ari. <laughs> Shut up. Ship loser. Um, hmm. I don't know how long I want to get this, keep this uh, stream going, by the way. Because we did stream for, what, like an hour of Duck Game, maybe? Um, I do have actual work that's due. Um, it's been due for like a week. I've had work that's been due for a week. I'm cur I currently have 50% off of it. Or no, tomorrow. if I turn it in tomorrow, I will get half of my grade off just because of how long I've just not done it um because I've just been doing so well in the class I just I was I decided to handicap myself and just like <laughs> mess up my grade but no but like I just haven't had I haven't had the energy I've been trying so hard to fight to get this work done and I just haven't had the energy so I think I'll end like let's say by 11 it's 10 13 right now we'll end by 11 so that I can give myself some time to get that work done and not stay up too late um, and that, that'll probably be that. We're, we're, we're getting all this copper. I don't see a use for it yet in the near future or like distant future even. Like, honestly, let's keep in mind, we could die at any second. And like, I mean, then again, we are not just, we're not going to end because it's hardcore quote unquote, but like, I don't know. We, we don't need like decoration blocks, you know? Because even after we die, I think we're still going to try to keep the debts done minimum. So I don't think... Or maybe after we die, then we just forget about debts in general. And we just start prettying up this place, you know? Like, I say for now, we keep it really, like... We try to strictly do what we need to get done. To get... To, like, make a good home, but also to get to the Ender Dragon. I can use stone here. um, And try to kill the Ender Dragon. And then, obviously, we're going to try to kill the Wither and try to kill the Guardians and do all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I think after, after like we die, that's when we can start like prettying everything up. Or if we end up not dying and we just have nothing else to do because we've gotten so good. <laughs> like if we kill every major boss, including like, I mean, we don't even kill the warden, but if we beat a ancient city and we do all that stuff, then, um, I think at that point we can just start making everything pretty. But that's pretty far. That's pretty far away, honestly. Because that would require taking over in... That would require beating an ancient city, which means getting all the loot, getting out of there. Maybe getting some skulk to mess with. Um, being the Ender Dragon, being the Wither. Taking over a, a Guardian Temple. A Water Guardian Temple thingy. I don't even remember the name of it, but that thing. Um, which would take a long time. Because, um, yeah, that's a bitch. Um... So we'd have to do that, and then only after all of that would we be able to, like, be in a place where we're like, okay, now there's no nothing to do. At that point, we just max out all our achievements, which, how far are we right now? 77 out of 122. We got, yeah, we got, we still got a lot to go, but at that point, I say we just beat every achievement, and then just come back when there's new achievements. I think that's the goal for this series. Because obviously I have been counting how many games I finish this year, and um, and what was I gonna say? I've been counting how many games I finished this year, and I am not doing too well. But I will count this as one of those games, and we'll just keep working at it and chipping away at it. And if we finish it this year, 
That's uh, that's pretty good. I don't mind that. What's funny is that every time this game updates, I can beat it again on other platforms. Like, I can beat this game... <laughs> I can beat Minecraft, like, twice a year on each platform. Because normally there's, like, two updates a year. So, um, I or maybe it's only one. I think they've been trying to do two, but I don't think two's been working out. So they might just be switching to one. That, but that means, like, every year I can just, like, beat it again and again, like, six times. Because I can beat it on the... I can beat it on Windows 10 Edition, the Switch, the uh, Xbox Edition, uh, PE Edition. What else? Is that it? Four times? I think it's four. Cause uh, yeah, cause Xbox Series, the Xbox Series and the Xbox One both have the same version of Minecraft. So um, I think that's how it works. But yeah. Beating a game four times in a in a year is pretty funny. I will also say my counter for uh, how many games I finished this year is technically a little off, because I finished like three before I started counting. So that's another thing to note. Technically, we're a little bit further along than uh, I claim. Also, another water thing. There's no way we're gonna hope that it just ends here. We're gonna explore a little bit just to get a feel for what's happening here, but like, hopefully it just ends here. I don't know what my, why my luck is so bad with these stupid water caves, man. They're annoying. Like, I like them because they're cool and they're like pretty and they're different, but like, God. And look at it. It's like nothing. This one's nothing. It was different with the one with the glow squids. Both of the ones with glow squids because those were like pretty and interesting, but this is like nothingness. It's useless. Oh, there's another... Honestly, actually, let's just keep this here because it's definitely going to flood again in a second. Yep, there it is. And I think there's iron up here somewhere. Is that, was that the iron we were looking at? Oh, okay, it's this one. Uh, let's break this and then break all this iron and then we can deal with all this water oh come on oh my gosh this is so frustrating okay we don't need that so all of you can stop okay now i think i can break this yeah and now we can try to get this god this is this is why i hate the water caves it's so annoying to try to deal with all this water but i think what's our lowest point here so if we just do that we should hopefully be able to make it through no issues there we go it's pretty good <sighs> yeah i i definitely am not gonna be able to stand mining for much longer if this is how it's gonna keep going because we're getting so unlucky i just want to get out of our area i feel like we've just been in the same area for ages and I, I just want to, like, get to a new place so we can, like, you know, actually find some new stuff and not be stuck in water constantly. I think let's just break all these pickaxes that we've made. Oh, no, we're going to have to run back soon to deposit um all these resources. I don't really like wasting cobblestone stuff because even though I don't use all of it, there are times where I need to do bigger builds. And I just, I'd rather just have the cobblestone around so I can use it. For the raid farm, I know I'm going to need to use a lot of leaves because they don't let things spawn on them. But that's only for that. Like, I think for most other things, I'll be able to use um, cobblestone. Like, if we make an iron farm with the villagers, that, that would be interesting. If we make our base, like, four different points, right? Because we're going to need... Like, all villages need to be... Um, for like a hundred blocks away something like that so what we could do is make like one corner the pillager outpost one corner a normal village one corner an iron farm and then have that last corner for whatever else or we can just make a triangle whatever i don't mind um but something like that could be cool uh and it could first of all it could make a good layout for a base and second of all it could um it would be like practical 
because no matter what they all need to be that far apart just to count as a village or as like separate villages which is a little bit s like silly <laughs> it's a little bit annoying i'd rather just you know what let's use this dirt here Ugh, come on Oh, one block away from being rid of another inventory. Let's just do that. Uh, yeah. Uh, we still got a little ways to go. If we can get through all of this with and break our pickaxes along the way, that's pretty good. Otherwise, um, otherwise, oh well, I guess we'll just go back up. At least let's break this pickaxe, and then we'll just have one left on us, which is what I would normally do anyway. <laughs> you know, like. I try to have a pickaxe on me at all times anyway. But yeah, that's like, I mean, I don't mind that we didn't find any crazy loot or whatever. Um, every once in a while, you just gotta do these kind of more boring streams, especially in hardcore. Especially if I'm gonna stream everything that I do on here. You just gotta push through and do some of this more boring Minecraft stuff. Because this game is in a lot of ways grindy. Um... It does, like, avoid that grind sometimes. Like, if you, um... If you kind of know what you're doing, if you're able to get villagers super quick, then you can, like, trade them up, make them sell you diamond pickaxes and stuff. And that's fine. Uh, I don't mind that I can't do that. <laughs> like, I've tried to work with villagers. Villagers, they're just annoying. And considering how close one is to a raid farm, I don't feel like playing that game right now. Maybe one day I'll boot them, like, boat them away somewhere so that we can just trade up and get all of our diamond armor and stuff. Um, but until that day, I'm, I'm not too pressed about it. It's all good. It happens. Sometimes you just gotta do the grindy stuff, and that's okay. Have bundles been added to the game? That's another thing. That's another thing I've been wondering. Because I know that they were supposed to, and then they didn't. And then I saw a second time of snapshots with them. Like, I saw them once years ago, and then I saw, and then I heard that they were getting rid of them. And then I saw another snapshot recently, I think. So I'm going to assume that they're getting added with 1.20, but they might already be in here. It all kind of blurs in together with me. Honestly, after Nether, another update... Because you know what the problem is? After Nether update, they tried to go big again. And so they tried to do Caves and Cliffs, and... Like, Caves and Cliffs was already a huge update, right? So they split that into two, and then they did another update, which is a wild update, which I think was the Deep Dark. So it's essentially, like, the last three updates have all been one. Is that a mine shaft? No. Is that dirt? It might just be dirt. I thought it was wood. But it's like, they've all been just one big update, the last three. So that's why I think 1.20 is going to be better, is because, like, we're going to finally get, our like, a new thing that's not the same stuff that we've been looking at for literally years now. And honestly, no hate to, to Mojang. This me is not. This is like not in a mean way. I think people give way. They they give Mojang way too much shit. They always get annoyed. They're like, "Oh, Mojang's so slow with their coding. I could do it so much faster." And it that always frustrates me because it's like they're slow. Because first of all, they have a lot of different stuff to do. Like, there's a lot of stuff that people don't think about. Like, they make maps for every for Bedrock. They make maps for every new, or at least they. I'm pretty sure they commission them and like work with the build team to make maps for every new update so that people know what's going to be in the new update what's going to be like added i'm gonna drown uh please oh gosh oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no oh my god oh that's why i hate water <laughs> i forgot where i was supposed to get out okay okay at least we're safe it's okay i kind of like die right i know a skill doesn't and I know that a bunch of the Hermitcraft fans in here are going to roast me, but I kind of like diorite, so I'm going to not use it for building here, so I can keep it around. I don't like it, but I don't hate it. That's the thing. Uh, oops. Okay. Um, but yeah, like, the thing is, like, they do a lot of things that go unnoticed, which is one thing, one reason why it's, like, you can't really fault them for being slow, because they do stuff like that, and that's, like, not, like, that, like, making maps, or commissioning maps, whatever they do, that's not the only thing. I'm sure there's a bunch of things I'm not thinking about where they have to make all this stuff to make the new update look nice, to make it seamless, and, like, you know? And, like, make it so that people can get all the new resources. Like, obviously, for Caves and Cliffs, they have to, 
like delete the whole bedrock layer or probably like those all three of those like lower layers and then cut them out and uh place like deep slate there and then make that all seamless like that's difficult that's a lot of work it's not just for people who make a new world and then on top of that they have to make stuff that makes sense for every type of minecraft player right like they can't add stuff that only benefits builders necessarily Right? Like, copper has multiple uses. I say mostly it's for building, but that doesn't mean it's only for building. Like, they need stuff that's good for everyone. And even if it's only for building, then they need to figure out, like, if you're going to mine for it, then how often does it show up? Will it interfere with other ores? Because, like, obviously, like, if you're generating copper, like, we saw that gold and coal next to each other. Depending on which one generated first, it could have overtaken the other one. Or, like, the newer one could have taken over the older one and caused it to get deleted. So if that if you have an ore that appears too often, it could delete the other ones. And if it's just for building, then what's the point? So stuff like that, it's like, people never really think about stuff like that. And then they're just pissed off at Mojang. Like, why did you take so long to uh, do this update? And it's like, yeah, they took a long time because they're trying to make everything as balanced as possible. They need to look out for everyone's gameplay styles and make sure everything is like proper. So that's why like smaller updates are my favorite, honestly. Bees update was nice. It was like inoffensive. It was just it was just literally just bees and people enjoyed it. Um I think we can break this pickaxe and we'll be good and we won't waste any resources. Oh, let's go. Love when it does that. And I broke it. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. I saw it. Oh, you know what I forgot is that I could breathe on this. So let's um Let's get a feel for what's around here. Uh, I don't see any ores or anything, so I don't see the point in continuing here. I honestly think this is where we end uh, this mining session because um, it's another giant water cave. I don't feel like turning another direction. I don't even remember which direction I turned. Yeah, let's just go back. Uh, that was kind of unlucky. We didn't get the craziest stuff. We got a decent amount of iron, which I'll take. And the coal is nice, because we haven't really had too much coal. Let's just get rid of this granite, please. It's so bad. Like, diorite isn't good, but granite's worse in every way. And you can't even disagree with me. Let's just place it here. Honestly. I don't really like throwing it out, like I said, because if I ever need it again, I could just come back and all the ones that I've placed, I can just go back and find. I wouldn't really care too much if it was renewable, but something about if something's renewable to me, that's what makes me care if I'm getting rid of it. Like if I have a giant wheat farm and it's making more than enough seeds and then like it's like turning those seeds into bone meal and stuff and I have way than more than enough, then if I get like one seed in my pocket, I'll throw it out. Because it's renewable, I can get it anytime, and it one C is gonna make no difference in if I'm gonna get another piece of bone meal or not. But like, you know, otherwise it's like I don't know. Sometimes I just don't like wasting stuff. It's weird. I mean, considering as we run through these tunnels, there's like a ton of granite. It it always it it's had, it bugs me that I like play so weirdly. But, I don't know, that's just how I play. I think we got enough coal that we can go back down to the diamond layer in a future stream. And, um, keep going with that. I think for now, let's do a couple farms, maybe. I'm not sure which farms I want to do. Look at all these turns, man. So much water. And look how close- Oh. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Look how close we were to the beginning, man. We just did a bunch of circles. That's what pisses me off. We just did a bunch of circles and we end up right back here. Like, we didn't even get that far away from our base, I, I don't think. We probably kept the chunks loaded the entire time. Scrub, what's up? How you doing, my boy? We were playing duck, di duck game, but then we, um... Uh... Ellie wasn't enjoying it, so he headed out, and I decided to play some Minecraft. So this is episode 2 of Rat SSP. Episode 2 was supposed to be next Monday, but instead it's today, and I decided to um, go mining. We didn't find anything too crazy. We're just leaving the mine. Let's see if I can just throw any of this in here. Uh, 
I think everything's basically full. Yeah, there we go. But we found some good, um, we found a couple good things, which I don't mind. Like, we found, obviously, the lapis, which is nice. We found some iron, which I'll take. Uh, let's make four more furnaces. One, two, three, four. Lurk? Okay. I'm playing Pop Tropica. Well, you're playing Pop Tropica, dude! We were supposed to play that together! What the heck? What the heck? Remember, we made a, 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 a thingy for it, and, uh... Dang. Yeah, um... Scrub and I had made a, 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 what do you call it? A Discord group thing for Pop Tropica. And then we said, hey, let's try not to forget to play. And then we forgot to play. And I guess he is playing on his own now. Well, that sucks. I wanted to play. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get a chance another day. Okay. We can smell all this iron. And then we can, I think at this point, it's best just kit ourselves out with full iron. Because I'm sure at some point we'll get diamond, but it'll take us a while to get full diamond anyway. So let's just, we have more than enough iron to splurge a little and get our helmet and leggings. That's fine. I don't mind doing that. Um, man, how long do we mine for? None of these trees spawned or, or grew. And honestly, like running down that cave, we I feel like we barely mined at all. I don't know if I should do some off stream. I kind of want to keep it all on stream. I don't care if it takes a while for us to beat the dragon. Like that, it is what it is, you know? Uh, what do we want to do? I think we want to, we wanted to build, right? We wanted to build out a little bit and do a farm. I think this isn't going to be enough for grass, but I think we keep this around for now. Cause if we want to make like a grass pen, cause like honestly, if we really want to make our, like, if we want to turn this place into the perfect industrial area and, like, perfect area, the ideal situation is we put leaf blocks all over all of these, this grass and everything so that nothing can spawn. Can we check out that igloo? I want to do that first. That's what I want to do. But the ideal situation is we do all that and we, um... We make it so that nothing can spawn anywhere here. And then we light up every cave underneath us, which, to be honest, every cave underneath us is literally water anyway. So nothing's going to spawn down there. And then um, and, and then if we put a conduit in the water, then um, I think Drowned get hurt by that. So that boosts our chances even more. And at that point, we can literally put like a grass platform in the middle of the water here. A bunch of mobs will spawn in it, like good passive mobs. We can like use them for... Um, for uh, uh farms and stuff and then we can make a mob grinder like in the sky and when the mobs fall down they'll just die and that'll be good to me that's the ideal situation that's how we make the perfect base because again i like being self-sufficient i like having everything set up perfectly uh where i i have access to every resource and like stuff like that that's why like i when i met the psycrafters i was always hanging out with them and like learning from them because it was always an interesting thing to me it's something that i enjoy too of like having one of every item or like a bunch of every item really and all that stuff i think i definitely i i managed to do it to a lesser extent than they do like i i don't put in that much effort but like i definitely have the same goal you know so i i think it could be cool to do this um is it turning to night it is. Let's just sleep real quick. I'd rather not risk uh, our death right now. We also got to figure out a way to get back up here without having to come to the side every time. I don't know how I want to do it because, like, maybe we can just put fence gates. We can make a couple, like, entry places and put fence gates there so nothing else can get in. I'm not totally sure. But, um... I'm sure we'll figure something out. But yeah, I think it's it would be really interesting to like literally cover all of the landscape near us in leaves so that there's no chance of anything else spawning anywhere. And then we just get rid of every cave. Which like we've just by playing, just by mining, you are kind of getting rid of every cave. And we've already seen that there are no caves near us that are actually spawning mobs. There's one which was near that lava source that we heard monsters, but that's the only one that I can remember. And so if we just go there and get rid of that, 
this is an igloo, igloo, right? There's no chance it just accidentally made this circle. Right? Or did it? Because igloos have openings, and this one doesn't. Am I wrong? This might not be an igloo. Dang, okay. Um... Hmm. Is there anything interesting here? I mean, this is packed ice, which will be interesting or like helpful for for when we get, um, or and and blue ice. Oh, that's blue ice, right? Yeah. Okay. This will be helpful for us when we get um. Uh, what do you call it? What's it called? Am I dumb? Uh, fortune. No, looting. The other one. No, not that one. Silk touch. There we go. We figured it out. <laughs> Yeah, that'll be good for us. But at the moment, it's pretty useless. I thought there'd be like a fun igloo or something, something to explore. We will go exploring eventually, just not now. I think uh, that's a future stream. It looks like there's a desert here. Is that a desert? Pretty weird for a desert, which is a hot clim climate, to be right next to a freezing one, but whatever. I'm also just going to throw the snowball. We don't need it. Skirt. Okay, uh, I guess there's nothing really interesting, so we'll just start on a farm. Which farm do we want to start with? What time is it? Okay, we got like 20 minutes. Um, I say we make... I, I like how the outpost is like a sign of where my house is. It's pretty funny. Um, a nice little pillar to remind me where I live. I think we start with... What the fuck? Guys, <laughs> guys, no way. It's the Flying Dutchman. What the heck? I've never seen that in my life. Dude, that's so cool. Listen, I know game breaks sometimes, but I've never seen this kind of break. This is awesome. Oh, we've got to build something with that. What the heck? That is so cool. I hope it's not a visual glitch. I don't think this game glitches like that visually. I don't think it's possible for it to be a visual glitch. I think it is straight up up there. That is so awesome. Is there another one down here? Are there two? I think there's two. <laughs> or is it two halves of the same boat? I see a drown down there, so I'm gonna be careful, but... Yeah, it's two halves of the same boat. This isn't supposed to, um, be as small as it is. That is awesome. I've never seen- What the fuck are you? Oh, okay. You're normal. My bad. And there's a buried treasure map. I knew that we'd find one. Uh, go, go, go. We will have to get up there because I'm sure there's loot up there. At some point. I think- Or do we just do it now? I, I say we just do it now. Guys, let's just do it now. This looks insane. I want to go up there. I don't think there's anything in here, right? This is like the captain's quarters. Honestly, I say we completely memorize how this looks down here. And we build it up there. Like, eventually. I'm going to go and get some blocks. And then we're going to go up there. This is awesome. I've never seen this before. Um, I think, w like, maybe next stream or in a future stream. We... Break all the blocks down here. Go up there, build it like that. Maybe add some... Maybe add some vines that drip down so that we can get up there easier. And... Then we have, like, essentially a Flying Dutchman, which I think is amazing. That is such a cool find. I've never seen anything like that before. I thought the weirdest thing in this area was that thing, but apparently not. Oh, by the way, let's, uh... Let's take a look at the map as well. Uh, okay, we're going the opposite direction. We'll go and do that as well this stream. Forget the farms. We found way cooler stuff now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what I'll also do? I'm going to grab a vine from here. And we're going to put it at the top. And we're going to let it grow down. Um, So that if by chance I forget about it for a long time, <laughs> the vine will just grow. And come down a little bit. 
Let's use dirt because it's easiest to break. Because I don't feel like going up and down a bunch. We'll bring a couple of stacks of cobblestone just in case we need it. But I don't think we should. But, um, oops. Let's do that. And grab you. Um, okay. So we're going to do two things now. We're going to go up to that, uh, up to that boat. We're going to go see what's in there. And, um, because it's possible there's either, like, food and carrots and stuff or, um, or, like, diamonds and stuff. Or iron, at least. Uh, I don't think there's ever diamonds in boats. But I, I think, or we can just get more paper. But I don't, I don't think that boats are supposed to have two of the same chest. Uh, then again, you know, I don't know if they count as the same boat. I, uh, they might. I'm pretty sure they should, but they might not. But yeah, it's going to take a while to, like, do the restoration project. So this might be, like, a future stream, like, when we have better resources. Because also mining underwater is the worst. I did not get a vine. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's okay. We'll do it in a future future stream again. Like I said. It's not that far up. It's, um... It should only be, like, two stacks. I, I brought way more than enough. It should only be, two, like, two stacks, I think. All right, we just go up here from this point, and um, we'll just have to go to the side a little bit, but oh my gosh, dude, this is such a find. Oh my gosh, can't wait. Even if there's nothing cool up here, I want to I wanna just make this my own build. You know what would be awesome is if we somehow turn this into like a mob farm, but I think that would ruin it. Because, like, mob farms are supposed to be, like, super high up in the sky, and then they just fall down and die, which would be fun. Um, but I think it would kind of ruin the effect, because you would have to build a bunch of stuff around it and do all this stuff. If you guys have ideas, maybe we could have, like, a UFO above it, like, bringing the boat up. But I'm thinking more of, like, the, um... I'm thinking more instead of aliens, like, kind of a supernatural vibe. Oh, see, look at that. Perfect. Perfectly up. Because <laughs> their boat's just two boats split in half. Is there anything up here? Are there chests up here? There it is. There it is. I knew it. It'd be either food or... Yeah. Okay. I'll take the food. And gunpowder, which is nice. I don't mind that. Uh, the suspicious stews I've never really messed with. I don't know if there's any reason for them uh, in terms of achievements or anything. But... um, Let's just jump. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll deal with that later. In a... In a different event when we feel like it but for now that's pretty cool let's go get this buried treasure real quick yeah it's like right here we can get this easy as i told you guys i love getting buried treasure so um it's this is a good way to end off stream for me gosh that is that dude i've never seen that before I know it's not, like, crazy, it's just broken Minecraft, but, like, generally, I feel like I'm, I'm I don't see, like, like, I see some builds, or uh, some, like, structures that are broken for valid reasons, right? Like, there's some structures that just break due to, like, well, yeah, what if the chest is down here? Let's just check. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I see some coal down there, but we already have an, an okay amount of coal. Yeah, like, I've seen some structures break for other reasons, like, because, like, oh, they were, like, too, um, I think, like, here. Like, for example, if they were too close to another structure or to, like, a hill or something, they might, like, break into it and stuff. But I've never seen anything just start floating in the sky like that. There it is. That's awesome. And what do we got? Uh, no diamonds, which sucks. But... We got a lot of leads. A lot of leads. Did not know that they gave leads. I'll take it. Are these water breathing? Yeah, they are. All water breathing. I don't need this. Don't need these stews. Don't need rotten flesh. Let's take this. TNT. That. Don't need this, really. Um, and while I am a fan, I you know what? I don't really need that. And paper. We'll come back for this, if anything, one time. Um, Because... I like looting everything that I can, but as the sun sets, for some reason, we're really good at as the sun is setting, we end. Yo, what's up, young bishop? 
What's up, young bishop? <laughs> what, 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 you, what you up to, my boy? Bishop, look at this. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It's a boat in the sky. I don't know why they did that, but I love it. I'm a huge, huge fan of it. And I hope uh, we can make it look cool. Man's just on break at work thinking I'll pop in <laughs> to things. Thank you, bro. Um, you're talking in a way that I don't know how to say. <laughs> um, but thank you for the support. How is, uh, how's work, man? Work was the reason you missed our stream today, isn't it? Um, yeah, Ellie did not like Duck Game, so he didn't play for long. But, if you want to play, I don't know if, he bought it for, like, all of us, right? I think he bought it for you. Pretty sure he bought it for Rot, you and me, so... If you want to play, I know Daisy likes it, and I'm pretty sure Bond enjoyed it. So we could do a four-person for that. I don't know if uh, Rots did. Rots seemed to not like it either. So, um... <laughs> Bishop is doing, like, a bit right now, and I just don't know how to handle it. <laughs> Madman Cops... I can't... I don't... I don't know some of these words, man. And I don't know if it's, like, <laughs> bad for me to say or anything. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's actually light this up real quick. Alright, there we go. Alright, well... I will be back for you, boat. You look so cool. Oh my gosh, alright. We got TNT, which is nice. We got some leads, which are good. Um, And you know what, let's just make some leggings, because we can. I I like this, the chain leggings, but I'd rather just keep them for show. I want to get all of if that's that's one thing I want to do this this uh in this hardcore series is get one of every chain armor because those are so cool. Um, just playing in a Toronto slang because it's funny. Got you, got you. I'll talk normal. Thank you. Yeah, no, you're good, man. I just uh, I do not know that slang, so I was not aware what the bit was. Um, Ellie bought it for the team. I I could be down to stream it sometime. Yeah, yeah, because uh Ellie left after maybe like. 40 minutes he was really not feeling it um so then we all kind of just dipped and did our own thing so um i i will i i enjoyed it i think we could we like if you me you know daisy bond want to play maybe roth if he's down i i'd be willing still to give it a shot especially because you know um yeah especially because ellie bought it for everyone so like you have it now so why not give it a shot at least if you don't enjoy it, you don't enjoy it, but at least we can try. Um, What else we got? Uh, I guess we could smelt this. There we go. And put you there. And put you there. There we go. Uh, What do we want to do? We still have the smooth stone. And you know what? I could also uh, break this into... Two? Do I want to though? Uh, cause I I'm trying to think like we still want to build out a little bit, but are we reaching? Oh, we we got ten minutes left. I think we can do a little bit of what we wanted to do. So here's the thing: now that we have deep slate, I'm trying to decide. I think it's I caught Dizzy way off guard with it. It was actually hilarious. Hell yeah. Um, I think we can build with cobblestone for now and then if i want to change it it's easier to change cobblestone than it is to change deep slate so like, we could decide later if we want to use deep slate in some builds let's actually put in the uh in the what do you call it stone cutter and see because like see look how nice this looks chisel deep slate oh my gosh some of this looks so cool deep slate bricks right tiles yeah and there's this smoother one what is this polished I think this is the bricks. Yeah, all these look so cool. I feel like I should use it for something. Messaged her with men's mauved style. Then was like, Tutu's man's got the same flick from silver style. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but... Dude, if I got DM'd with that, I would I would be so confused. I was confused now, so yeah, I'd be so confused. Oh, we had a lead from the trader that, whose llama died, I think. She was just, why are you talking Toronto Hood, man? Why do I understand it all? <laughs> Dude, I could not understand it. I was so confused. Yeah, I mean... 
I, I've heard you guys talk like that before, so I, I was kind of aware of what bit you were doing. I didn't know it was from Toronto, but I was like, I, I was also just like, what is happening? What is happening? Uh, all right, let's turn this into the bean block. If anything, that's a good block to play with. Style equals still. Oh, okay, still. Why does Nightbot send every, every like, it sends every one of them at once. Every uh, advertisement at once. Uh, we don't really need to break that right now. I don't know what I want to do. Yeah, let's let's start building out a little bit and try to get um, oops. Try to get some of this going. We don't have too much dirt, so at some point maybe we flatten. We'll find like some place to flatten, like over here maybe. Because we do, if we want to do a triangle, we can figure out like where we'd want to put villagers, like where else to put them. All right, thank you for dropping in, Bishop. Gotta get back to work. Yeah, good luck, bro. You got this. Take care. Um, but yeah, we might need to find out like because we have one here. So like, okay, if you have a try, and that's the only time I'm gonna kill you. Oh, I do need to kill these guys for the conduit pieces though. That's the thing. I'm just gonna sleep. But yeah, I think I, I think we can just make a drowned farm at some point. That's fine. I've done it before. Um But yeah, if we have one village vill Hello. You are fancy. If we have one villager here, or like what is essentially a village, then I really want your hat, man. Then we could do the same on like other places and figure out where we want them to go and just flatten those areas so we get dirt. And that dirt can be used for what we want to be used for, which is... Aw, you didn't give me your stuff. Thank you. Give me your XP. Gimme, give gimme. Give Thank you. Um, yeah, and then that dirt can be used for farming and all that, and we'll be set. We'll be good and set. Uh, but for now, I say we just go this way. We just dig out in this direction. It's really, for some reason, really difficult to get the uh, outline to actually show up. I don't know why, but, um, okay. I want, what do I want? I, I know we have pumpkins. Pumpkins aren't super important to me. I know we need sugar cane, which is something I said earlier. Um, yeah, I say we just start with sugar cane. And then that side, we'll put, like, probably a... Uh, We'll do like three layers, so one of wheat, one of uh, potato, and one of carrot. And I know that if you mix potato, carrot, and wheat together, then they grow faster, but I just don't feel like doing that. That's just too much work. Um, like, they obviously put that for the reason of most people will not care enough to do it, so so I'll be those people. I will not care enough to do it, and I will just do my own thing. Anyway, I'm not trying to mid-max efficiency right now. Like, I, I don't care. We're just trying to get some basic ingredients to keep ourselves alive and get everything we need to get. So I think honestly, like genuinely, if we want to just make this simple, we just make this, the sugarcane farm, like just along, like honestly, if we just uh, break this and just do it along this strip, you know, so that's sugarcane. And there's just water in the middle. That's like perfect. That's all we really need. And we can just make we can go out as far as we want, or we can add some extra things on the side if we want. But like for now, like we also have an ocean under us, so we can just use that to fill it up. Thank you for breaking then. There we go. That's kind of all we need. And then I can just put some, um, I can just, we have so much cobblestone. Let's just put all of it in here and, or yeah, let's just get a stack of slabs just to make things easier. And then we just put it along like that. And this is another thing where if we want to make it pretty later, we easily can. We just do that. That's literally all we have to do. And that's a very simple sugarcane farm. 
Um, and we can we can send it out as far as we want to send it out. And like any time I want to do that, I can just expand it. But like this is just this is the way I want to play right now. I don't feel the need to make a bunch of giant stuff, so we don't need to do all that. We'll just if anything, I'll 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 extend it a couple. Like we have time, so let's let's extend it a little bit. Maybe like, dang. Uh, okay. Never made a space for myself to get back up. Um, let's say one, two on other side, like this. So like, there will be, I mean, if we make all of these water, but I don't feel like doing that. I feel like we should do it in twos, right? So like, yeah, yeah. We don't even need to make this water because we'll make this dirt. Again, not the most efficient way, probably, but we make this dirt, and we make this dirt, and then this inside one is water again, which is fine. Um, how much cobblestone did I waste? Let's just grab it real quick. There we go. And, um, yeah, and then we put, I think, did I, I put the bucket where I didn't want it to go. Um, we get this, and sorry, I'm, guys, I'm trying really hard to focus here. This is, I'm not good at this game. <laughs> I, I think I used to be good at this game, but, um, I don't know what happened. I just spent so long not playing it that <laughs> I got worse and worse as time went on. Let's put that there. Yeah, that's perfect. That's literally all we need to do. It's really not that bad. Put it like that. Put our sugarcane and put this sugarcane. Eventually, I think we line it with this thing. Uh, I think we just want one on each side, yeah? Uh, yeah, that's fine. We do that and then do the other on this side. So I think it's like four. One, two, three, and four. And... I think this should be a big enough farm for what we need, which is, like... Because we don't really need all that, you know? Like, we don't need, like, a crazy amount at the moment. Whenever we do, again, we'll just expand it. But for now, I think this should be exactly what we need. Even this is, like, kind of a lot. Because <laughs> we're not really, like... At the moment, we're not using it for anything. So by the point we actually need it, we'll have grown more than enough. But this is symmetrical, so it's good for me. And then we use slabs. And I think we already have torches around. Yeah, yeah, okay. We use slabs and we use sugarcane. And that's literally everything that we needed to be done. Um, yeah. All right. Well, look at us go. Um, that's about it, I think. I think that's all we want to get done today. Uh, at some point, I'll add a border on this, but at the moment, we don't even have much smooth stone, so I just don't I don't feel like doing all that. But um, that's our sugarcane farm. I think next time, we'll make some easy potato, carrot, wheat farms, and then um, maybe start the boat thing. I'm trying to decide because, like, it might take a while, so maybe we leave that as, like, we lead up to it, and whenever we get enough gear that has aqua affinity and all that fun stuff then we can go over there we can like kind of finish that up without spending too much time on it and we can make that look pretty up there maybe add some green to it I, i'm really thinking stuff like davy jones like um sea of thieves and um pirates of the caribbean like that kind of vibe and um like a lot of like sickly green i think that would look nice um and i think we go mining again that's that's do you want to be my pet Cause you just kind of showed up here. Do I have a bone? Do I have anything for you? I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't. Well, if you want to stay here, like you're free to be my friend. Okay, well we got a new pet. He's he's still rabid. Maybe we'll tame him one day. But um, that's about it. 
Thank you so much for watching YouTube. Oop, oh, I dropped my controller. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching YouTube. I'm gonna head out. I'll see you um in tomorrow's stream, which will be with Ellie. We're gonna do Operation Take. Yo, look at that. 11 p.m. on the dot. Perfect timing. Um, we'll be playing Operation Tango. Um, tomorrow on stream, and we're switching roles. If you guys watched last week's stream, uh, or VOD, we um, I was the agent and he was the hacker. We're gonna switch those roles and do it the other way, and it'll be fun. Goodbye.